From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show by taking you to the southern state of Telangana to witness the annual celebrations of the Bonalu festival. Observed mainly in the twin cities Hyderabad and Secunderabad, Bonalu is a famous Hindu festival in which goddess Mahakali is worshipped. Take a look. Decked in traditional attires and carrying Bonalu on their head, women in Hyderabad city of Telangana throng to various temples of goddess Mahakali to celebrate the most auspicious Bonalu festival. During this occasion, mother goddess is worshipped in regional forms like Maisamma, Pochamma and Yelamma. Some women are even said to face a spell of trance as they dance with balancing pots to the rhythmic beats of the drums in the honour of Goddess Mahakali. Reflecting Telangana's rich culture and traditions, the main celebrations of the Bonalu festival are held at city's Mahakali temple, Lal Darwaza and the historic Akanna Madanna temple at Haribauli. This Bonalu is Telangana's famous, famous festival. We have so much belief in Bonalu. Everyone believes so much in this god. And Lal Darwaza is very famous in Hyderabad, overall Hyderabad. So we believe so much. A male dressed like Pothraj, who is believed to be the brother of goddess, holds a prominent position in the celebrations. He is represented by a bare-bodied and a well-built man who wears a small tightly draped red dhoti and bells near ankles. He also has a luxurious rub of turmeric and vermilion on his head. He dances to the resounding drums and has the power to lead the ladies who are in trance state. Once the procession reaches the temple, women make offerings of rice cooked with milk, jaggery and many more items, also known as bonum, to the goddess along with vermilion, bangles and sari. Bonum is said to have medicinal values and wards off many diseases. Fresh chawal banake mata ji ko naivet ke liye khilate wo khane ke baad hum log us chawal start karte khana ye ek tradition mana jata hai pichle like saalo se ki ek zamane mein logo ko telugu mein gatara bolte hai jisko like fever disease aata hai jo sab log samajh nahi aake mata ko aake mante hai ki mata ye karne se ye sab karne se aapko bonam bana se bonam mein kya kya milate hai sugar rice गुड़, शकर, बेलम सब मिलाते जो मिलाने से टर्मरिक एंड जो नीम ट्री है ना ये सब मिलाके जो प्रसाद बनाते हैं ना वो खाने से जो भी डिसीज रहता है ना वो जाता है उसी लिए वो बनाते हैं माता को ऐसा प्रे करते हैं वो जाने के बाद माता सब को ठीक कर देती है during the processions, a colourful paper structure which is supported by bamboo sticks is also brought and offered as part of the ritual to show respect to the deity. Observed on three different Sundays at different places in the twin cities Hyderabad and Secunderabad, the festival's origin traces back to the 18th century and till date it is observed with same enthusiasm. Bonalo in a in Telangana are a very special uh, festival. They are uh, very typical to Telangana. They are a native uh, festival of Telangana people. So every Bonalu has a lot of history. If you take this Mahankali Bonalu itself, it has a history of over uh, 250 years. When uh, in, way back in 1843, the police battalion which had gone to uh, Ujjain on admission 
they had uh, prayed for the plague uh, affected people here and it had stopped next day so the battalion commander had brought back the idol and placed it very much here in front of the police chowki and since then it has been celebrated intended to ward off corona virus and usher in peace this annual festival is also considered a thanksgiving to the goddess for fulfillment of vows India is a country of multi-ethnic culture where people belonging to different religious, cultural and linguistic identities live together harmoniously. Festivals are a great show of people from different backgrounds coming together and participating in each other's festivities. Today we will show one such example from Gorakhpur city of Uttar Pradesh where Muslims have been preparing cloth bags for Kavad Yatris. India is a country where different religious communities not just recite peacefully but also participate actively in each other's festivities and occasions. Example of this active participation could be easily spotted in different nooks and corners of the country. A similar example was recently seen in Gorakhpur city of Uttar Pradesh where Muslim families have been preparing cloth bags for Kavar Yatris. कोई दुख कौन से दुख का भाई दोनों धर्म मिलकर नहीं काम करेंगे हिंदू मुसलमान का मुसलमान में को तो कैसे चलेगा कैसे चलेगा बताइए हम उनका काम करते हो हमारा काम करते हो हमारे जो काम है वो भी करवाते हैं उनका जो काम हम लोग कोई एतराज पत्ते तो हम लोग सिलते इसको दीस क्लॉथ पैक्स आर डेकोरेटेड विद इंप्रिंट्स ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा एंड गॉडेस पार्वती ऑन देम मुस्लिम फैमिलीज इन गोरखपुर हैव बीन मेकिंग दीस बैग्स फॉर इयर्स हाउएवर Due to the pandemic their businesses was on halt for 2 years. Now that the things have returned to normal, their businesses have picked up pace again. Quantity jo hai wo kaarigar ke upar depend karti hai aur kitne hamare paas kitne kaarigar hain us pe depend karti hai aur jahan tak rahi baat ki kahan ye kapda aata hai hum logon ka direct khaila baat se aur us baat se cutting cutting kiya jata hai uski chapaiyo pe hoti hai fir अपने कहाँ लोकल कारीगर जो औरतें होती हैं वो लोग आती हैं घर घर से वो लोग लेकर जाती हैं सिलती हैं और फिर वहाँ हम लोगों को वापस मिल जाता है और इसकी कॉस्ट करीब यही बारह तेरह रुपए कॉस्ट आती है हम लोग पंद्रह से सोलह रुपए में इसको सप्लाई करते हैं आगे इट इज़ दिट ऑफ टूगेदरनेस दैट बाइंड पीपल ऑफ डिफरेंट रिलीजियस कम्यूनिटीज इन कॉमन नॉट ऑफ हार्मनी Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. American directors Anthony Russo and Joseph Russo held the premiere of their upcoming Netflix thriller film The Gray Man in Mumbai. The Russo brothers have to their credit the highest grossing movie of all time, Marvel's Avengers Endgame along with three other Marvel films. The Grey Man features Indian actor Dhanush who plays the character of an assassin Avik Sam. Uh I'm very excited, very thrilled and uh Grey Man is uh, a great action uh film and uh, it's come out so well and I'm so excited uh, I can't wait uh for India to watch the film and uh, the the Russos are here and uh, it's amazing to have them here and uh, we're all very excited and very thrilled about this whole thing the action film revolves around a cia central intelligence agency agent who comes under the radar of assassins after revealing official secrets india's sports community hailed neeraj chopra after the olympic javelin champion won the country's first silver medal at the world championships Chopra's throw of 88.13 meters was not enough to beat the Grenadian Anderson Peters effort of 90.54 meters but it was enough to end India's 19 year wait for another medal at the world championships Bilkul ji hunger rahega aur wo rehna zaruri hai aur main bolna chahunga ki ha matlab acha hai ummeed hai sabhi ko gold ki lekin हर बार गोल्ड भी नहीं आ सकता और क्या होता मेडल भी ना आया ऐसा भी हो सकता है तो ये स्पोर्ट्स है मैंने पहले ही बोला अप डाउन चलता है पर हमको अपना जो ट्रेनिंग है या जो भी हमारा काम है वो करते रहना चाहिए लगातार और मैं वो मैं करता रहूंगा वो मैं नहीं छोड़ूंगा और कोशिश करूंगा कि हाँ और इससे बेटर रिजल्ट लेके आऊंगा मीन वाइल 
Chopra's family members and relatives celebrated his win with dance and sweets. At the Gold Coast in 2018, the former junior world champion became the third man to win an athletics gold for India at the Commonwealth Games after sprinter Milka Singh in 1958 and discus thrower Vikas Gowda in 2014. Thousands of devotees across India thronged temples to offer prayers to the Hindu god of destruction Lord Shiva to observe the second Monday of the auspicious month of Savan. The festivities came after a gap of 2 years owing to the coronavirus pandemic. Shiva temples in the northern holy cities of Haridwar, Varanasi and Prayagraj saw a sea of devotees traveling from afar to get a glimpse of Lord Shiva's idol. Ye prachin mandir hai. ये भोलेनाथ की ससुराल है यहाँ पर यहाँ पे सब सभी लोग कावड़िए सभी दूर दूर से यहाँ पे दर्शन करने के लिए आते हैं यहाँ पे जल चढ़ाते हैं यहाँ की बहुत मान्यता है प्रीस्ट इन द सेंट्रल उज्जैन सिटी वर सीन बेदिंग द आइडल इन गैलेंस ऑफ मिल्क मानसून सीजन इन इंडिया इज एसोसिएटेड विद लॉर्ड शिवा एज इट इज बिलीव दैट प्रेइंग टू हिम ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड वुड हेल्प ब्रिंग लक एंड प्रॉस्पेरिटी टू द डेविटीज The devotees also believe that offering prayers to Shiva would help them in attaining salvation. India is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. The unity of these myriad faiths can be very well witnessed at the dargahs of Sufi saints. So today we take you to Darga of Baba Ishq Madina Sahib in Vishakhapatnam city of Andhra Pradesh that has been serving as a bridge between different castes and communities. Vishakhapatnam is a city widely recognized for its rich culture, heritage and history. It is also known as the city of destiny or the jewel of the east coast of India. The city has three picturesque hillocks each with its own religious significance. One of them is the Baba Ishq Madina Darga or the Darga Konda Hill which is visited by people of different religious communities. Ye Baba ka Darga ka bahut karamat hai. Hame har mahina 4 mahine 5 5 mahine ke baad aate hi rehte hain. Unka Fatiha dilate rehte hain. Bahut karamat hai Baba ka. Hinduon bhi aate hain. Inka kon unno mang liye to unka zarur dua amin karte hain. It's been said that Baba Ishq Madina Wali came from Makka Madina along with some of his followers and settled down on the hill around 600 years ago. It's been said that he appeared in Aurangzeb stream and purposely summoned him. The darga has been standing still for the last 600 years amidst all natural calamities like the cyclone Hurhur. Madina se aake idhar mein ruke अच्छा है ना कहने से बाबा औरंगजी नवाब को जो बोलना है औरंगजी नवाब को बोले बोले तो सब उन्हों इंतजाम करे इन दिलों को आते हैं तेलुगु आता है सब जाता आएगा इट्स बिन सेड दैट दी सेंट हैज ऑलवेज वर्क फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी एंड द पीपल हु विजिट दी दरगाह गेट्स देयर विशेस फुलफिल्ड इंडिया इज ऑन एन अपवर्ड स्लोप ऑफ डेवलपमेंट After the pandemic many sectors have started picking up pace as business and commerce is flourishing in the country. India's aviation sector is also experiencing rapid growth like infrastructure upgradation and opening up of new airports which is attracting investors. Have a look. With the growth in India's aviation sector, airport infrastructure in the country is experiencing a boom. New airports with world-class facilities are being constructed and the existing underserved and unserved airports are getting a makeover. With new terminal buildings to improve regional and remote connectivity. The reforms in the aviation sector started in July 2016 with the announcement of the Regional Connectivity Scheme. In furtherance of this initiative, Prime Minister Narendra Modi recently inaugurated Deogarh Airport in Jharkhand state. He praised the rapid infrastructure development and enhanced air connectivity the airport will provide. Udan yojana ke tahat pichle 5-6 saalon mein lagbhag 
सत्तर से ज्यादा नए स्थानों को एयरपोर्ट हेलीपोर्ट और वोटर एयरड्राम के साथ उसके माध्यम से जोड़ा गया 400 से ज्यादा नए रूट पर आज सामान्य से सामान्य नागरिक को हवाई यात्रा की सुविधा मिल रही है The India Aviation expansion has been remarkable. The country has added 67 new airports since 2014 to its existing 74 airports. The government plans to have 220 functional airports by 2025. According to the International Air Transportation Association, the air transport market in India is forecasted under the current trend scenario to grow by 262% in the next 20 years. This would result in an additional 370.3 million passenger journeys by 2037. If these targets are met, it would translate to roughly a rise of 126.7 billion USD in GDP and a creation of almost 9.1 million jobs. According to the Ministry of Civil Aviation, the Indian airport sector is anticipated to receive 21.6 billion USD in investments, including investments from private entities. पुराना जमाना होता था जहां केवल आर्थिक महत्वपूर्ण शहरों के में हवाई अड्डा स्थापित होता था लेकिन प्रधानमंत्री जी ने उस परिभाषा को बदल दी आज जहां हवाई अड्डा स्थापित होता है वहीं से आर्थिक पहिए घूमने शुरू हो जाते गवर्नमेंट हैज ऑल्सो इंसेंटिवाइज प्राइवेट प्लेयर्स टू कंस्ट्रक्ट एंड फर्दर डेवलप एयरपोर्ट विद इन द कंट्री Adani Airports recently secured a deal to modernize and operate six airports: Ahmedabad, Lucknow, Mangaluru, Jaipur, Guwahati, and Tiruvananthapuram through the Airports Authority of India's globally competitive tendering process. Some say the entry of private operators will act as a force multiplier to the government's sustained efforts towards expanding and improving aviation infrastructure and will further enhance passengers' experiences. As India's aviation sector witnesses overwhelming growth, the investment potential too has grown massively. The Indian aviation industry is looking at a very bright future. And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Hyper Edu Haku is an application game that explores Edo. It is the old name of Tokyo. While exploring the Edo town, player can learn about people's life by looking at the pictures. The pictures that appear in the game are the collection of Edo Tokyo Museum. Edo Tokyo Museum is a popular place for sightseeing in Tokyo. It has released its game application Hyper Edu Haku which could run on smartphones. Opened around 29 years ago, some of the collections are now displayed at a temporary museum. Edo no corner no naka de desu ne. Ano Edo no sakari ba to yosu wo shoukai shiteru corner ga arimasu. Ma apri mo tanoshimi nagara Edo Tokyo Akubutsukan shuzou shiryo hiroku ano tanoshinde itadakeru to ii kana to omoimasu. Visitors enjoy going back to the previous era by means of this application. Japanese hospitality is becoming a treat for travelers and citizens all over the world. This is the Vinci Shi robot. It's assisting the surgical team at Tiger Berg Public Hospital in Cape Town in removing a cancerous rectal tumor from a patient. With four arms that are controlled in real time via an immersive 3D console, it is the most advanced surgical robot in Africa. Da Vinci Shi is one of only two such robots in use on the continent. Both of them are found in South African public hospitals in Cape Town. It's currently used mainly for complex urological, gynecological, and colorectal surgeries. The first operation using the robot was performed at Tigerberg Hospital in February 2022. Dozens more have been successfully completed since then. Da Vinci is not the first robot deployed by Tigerberg. In 2020, the hospital introduced Khanya during the peak of the pandemic to help patients connect with their relatives via video or voice call. 
Lundi Moeni is one of the patients who were able to communicate with their family members remotely. Renai Australia recently announced a new renewable product technology which is designed to support Australia's clean energy mix future as Renai Global Innovation Manifesto which seeks to achieve zero carbon emissions by 2050. I am strongly convinced that the invention of the world's first hydrogen-powered residential water heater by Renai and the cooperation from Australian partners will not only help to take Japan-Australia hydrogen cooperation to a whole new level, but will open up a whole new golden age in Japan-Australia economic relations. We know that the future of that product development is tied intri intrinsically into Renai Japan's strength, which is electronics and uh, core competencies in uh, software. We think that um, with uh, the great support of Renai Japan's uh, IT and R&D network, Renai Australia will remain a very strong player in this market and regionally as a consequence. Renai Australia contributes to development of renewable energy utilisation around the world. Over the last 10 days, art lovers at Riyadh visited the Jack's Art Festival and its interactive artworks. The festival organized by the Saudi Ministry of Culture was advertised as a platform to connect international artists through an exhibition including immersive artworks, an extended reality studio and a 3D experience featuring works of the Italian Renaissance. When I am going to see the اه يلمس حقيقي الروح اصلا فلما قاعده اشوف التاريخ الفن بالسعوديه كان كان فعلا مظلوم مظلومين الفنانين كانوا اول فانه لازم ما ترسم اشخاص ما تسوي ما تفعل مجرد طبيعه بس ارسم النخل وهذه الاشياء كانوا كثير محكورين فلما الان اشوف انه مو فقط يرسمون اشخاص قاعدين ينحتون الشيء اللي كان محرم اول فاللي واو Wow, Walking through the exhibition hall, one of the visitors, Lamia Almadi, said she enjoyed the diversity of themes chosen by the artists. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Number one multicultural channel. This is Tag TV.